Good afternoon and welcome American racing fans to the 2017 Baby Formula Fall Championship. Round 5 brings us to the Willow Springs Horse Thief Mile in Rosamont, California for the Scrub Drop Like Baby Breed. Here's your American oath, Bud Burger Bud. Howdy. Thank you, Bob. I'll tell you what, it's good to be in America broadcasting this little bottle rocket race here today. This is my first time announcing this no roof roll cage of big old fast American V8s on classic oval track rookie series. Now, I did come from hosting the good old stock car races in America. Anyway, we got quite the show for you this afternoon. A little bit about this track. It first opened in November of 1953. Still has its original American crafted layout too. That's the oldest permanent road course in these here United States in America. I had to come check this great piece of American history out for myself and host today's race. Today, there's seven tracks here at Will Springs and we're running the Horse Thief Mile this afternoon. It has 11 turns and some major elevation changes. The drivers absolutely love this course because you go up and down and up and down and around and around. Whee! In America. Well, they should. It's an American made course in America. Oh, yeah. About to know it's drive south of us. If you do the speed limit, that is. <laughs> it's the Lost Angel Lass in America. Someone. A nice, kind person. Anyone. If you please, if you could just find her. I've been sick of hearing about her on the TV. I'm asking from the bottom of my beer can here. Speaking of, I need another American brew. <coughs> In America. Alright, so all the American fans out there today are going to be cheering for all the American teams and all the American drivers in America. We got 46 laps coming up and 6 race car drivers to go with them there 46 laps in America to boot. Oh hey, they're about to warm up those little pavement rodents. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go to a commercial thing now? Okay, we'll be right back to see some racing action up close after a quick word from these mighty fine folks in America. Drop like baby three, only on Formula TV. All right, welcome back to America, folks. We're watching PTG Apex of the number 35 Sheriff Kaiser Motorsport warm up. This guy has completely dominated the entire season so far. He's won all four races. Nobody can see the match's quick pace except for PTG alcoholic. Well, Apex is probably going to be the champion if things keep going this way. He's got 31 points so far, and he could possibly get six more today if he finishes first. We got six starters in America today, so that's how many points the American winner will get. Second place gets five points, third gets four, and so on. Now, here's his teammate in the number 39 Sheriff Kaiser Motorsport, Sergeant Formula One. He's got 24 points, and he is in second in the championship. But he just doesn't seem to have the pace of what his teammate has. Here comes Y22 Rider of the Phoenix Racing Team. He's got 22 points and he's in third in the championship. He qualified on pole position today. He's going to be sitting pretty for today's race as well. Now here comes the number seven Scooter F Delta Split. It's PTG Alcoholic, he's one of the newer drivers, he's got 12 points and he's in 4th in the championship, but he's only gotten 2 races under his belt, both of which he finished 2nd. He was reporting some tire issues in practice and qualifying earlier today, so we'll see if they'll get it straightened out for the race today in America. 
We're looking at another newer driver, Wang Dang. He's only got two races under his belt as well, both of which he retired from, and he has zero points, but we'll see if he can make any improvements today on his driving. Oh, oh that sounds like PTG Alcoholic is out of the race before it even started. Tire problems, too dangerous to race. Oh my god, so is PTG Apex. He's got some engine problems. Now we're down to four starters. Oh wait, no, three starters. Because this guy, he never shows up to the races. He only was here at the first one. You know, not America. Alright, before we begin this here, four or six lap race in America, we gotta sing our American National Anthem. You just gotta do it before every single sporting event. Because if you don't, you're a goddamn communist in America. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please now stand for our American National Anthem. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light? Well, so hell with my light at the last gleaming brook track. For the rapids we want stream and the rock is red black. song is just so beautiful. It, he sung it so well, it brought an American tear to my American eye. Well, anyway, we got to begin this here American race. Get ready, because here come those American Knights. The sergeant's getting all ready here. Well, wait a minute. Where's Wang Gang? I guess there's only two starters in America today. That means that the winner's only gonna get two American points. But the lights are out, and yeehaw! Look at them little baby pricks take off in America. The scrub droplet baby pricks is underway here in Willow Springs. The sergeant gets ahead right away the first two corners. Y-22 is right behind them, though, coming up the hill on turn three. This is fun. They get to go way down again. Oh, Y-22 goes off. Let's take a look at that replay at the beginning. Lap 
two. That's their sergeant. He's still on the lead there. But Y-22 Rider, he hasn't lost an inch. He's probably gained a couple of inches there, but he's going a little wide again. He's trying his best to get past him. He's trying every which way. This is a hard course in America to pass. Oh, yeah, he's scared of the sergeant. See, he almost lost it there. Around, oh, he's going to try and make a pass. Nope, he slows down again. He's going to make contact. This is a very difficult track in America, like I said, to pass. They're both trying their every best way to hold and pass in one another. The sergeant's trying to hold them off. Wow. Y-22 is trying to not hold him off because he needs to get by, you know, because he wants to not be in second anymore. He wants to be in first in America. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're on lap four, going around turn four. America, not much has changed. The sergeant's still in the lead. Oh, he almost goes off again there. Y-22 is... Yeah, here's a replay of it. Y-22 is definitely scared the sergeant. Yeah, he goes pretty wild there. He's got to protect the inside clip. Y-22 sees that, but he's still accelerating. Finishing their lap, American 4. Still sergeant's in the lead. He's about a half a second, maybe. A quarter of a second in the lead. Boy, we got a good old battle in the front of the pack here for first and second. Reminds me of Hank Eustace, Eugene Cumberbatch, the fourth, and Earl Schnigleschnock Jr. back in the 70s in the big old stock cars in America. Except these cars are a lot slower. We're going around this turn, while 22 is trying to get by him still, but he can't because it's a very hard course in America to pass. Said that, I think. Going around turn 7, now turn 8, but he can't get past. It's very hard. And then turn 8 and 9, 10, I mean, and there goes around 11. Let's watch Y22 and see how it can do this. That. See how difficult it is? These cars just don't have the power. By the time he's about to pass him, he's got to slow down, otherwise it's going to go America. You like that camera? It's pretty cool. Turns depending on where you're turning in real life there. It's not perfect, as you can already see, but it does a pretty damn good job. We can get kind of a helmet view, an eyeball view of where he's going in real life there. Turn two, that's a difficult one. down again. We are feeling so much G's on their tummies right now. And they're going to the left here like a NASCAR. That's when they're having the most fun in America because I said so. But now they're going around the another turn which is not a NASCAR way. So we're just going to have to keep watching them. You know what? Let's play a special American song for all y'all. I just feel it'll bring back that patriotic, classic, stalled, gelotic, American spirit in America. Let's take a listen. America, yeah, coming again to save the mother Only we end. 
Slippity slip right off turn seven, block 22 on the outside, going around turn eight. He's coming up close to the Sarge, coming up on turn nine. Oh, he's really, oh, he's on his ass crack. Going around, oh, and starting lap 12, going around turn one. And block 22 is still right on that there. Sheriff Kaiser, what jeeps. Oh, these two are just neck and neck. Are you sure it ain't the same drivers? Like split himself in half and put himself in two different cars or something. I mean, damn, look, that just is American closeness. Look at that. Oh, what happened there? Let's take a look. Oh, uh, what in the world? Is that some sort of glitch? In the Matrix in America, uh, that was real weird. Its wheels like turn real fast, like, magically without input. Well, it doesn't matter what happened because he's got some American catching up to do here in America. In America, whatever it was, it doesn't seem to be slowing him down that much. He's already gaining back time on the sergeant there. Going down around the corner again. The sergeant's still in the lead here. There they go around turn six. The running order for today's race so far on lap 13 is Sergeant Formula One. He's in first, followed by a Y22 rider. He's in second. Sergeant Formula One's at the front of the pack, and Y22 rider's at the back of the pack. 
in America. Here they go round turns 9, 10, and 11 again. And now they're starting lap 14 here. Hey, anyone got that groove yet for me in America? I'm thirsty. And I'm kind of starving too. Going around that hill there again, because you gotta go around the same parts of the track in order to do a lap. There, there's that there, turn five again. Block 22 is coming up closer and closer every second. Yeah, that little mishap, that little puckle of schnuck that Y22 rider right went through didn't really affect him. He's got stronger pace than Starch, and he's right on his bumper again. Going around that there, turn eight. Looks exactly like it did before he went off the course there. There we goes a little while, but he's trying to make a pass. He can't though, because there's nowhere to pass, otherwise you're gonna go wala pa pa Now this is really hard on the engines there, just gotta climb that hill. This is a little easier on the engines because gravity and stuff there, America. Going around another not NASCAR way. It's the opposite of the NASCAR way there in America. Ah, oh, there's a good old NASCAR turn right there. That's seven. And there's that there turn eight. Nine, that another curtain of ten, and around eleven, it goes off the circuit a little tiny bit, just a little. It was so little you could only see some of that there dust and smoke fly out of that track in America. Down again. And a NASCAR turn. And we're going up, 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 and that turn again. Ooh. He's really, really making the sergeant shit his pants right now in America. He's pushing some mistakes. Ooh. He almost looks like he made contact there. If it was, I don't think either of them noticed. Lap 17. Sergeant Formula 1 is in the front, and in second place is Y22. Still. Hey, so I got this American Real for all y'all out there. Hopefully I get it right. It's been a while since I told it. But anyway, here it goes. How many illegal immigrants in America does it take in America to screw in an American light bulb in America? I'll give you all a little bit to think about that one as we watch these little pricks go down and do a NASCAR turn. And they're going up and it up, up and up and around another turn and that's eight. Round turn 10 again, ooh, Y22, he's going wide. He's gonna lose a little bit of time there, but he's gonna make it right back up. Going back up the difficult hill for them, their engines. Round turn three again. Watching him go down the hill. Round turn four. Y22, he's getting closer and closer every second. He's Gotta make a pass here soon. We, we're gonna see something happen here. Well, anyway, about that riddle I was telling you about. The answer is it takes one American to screw one American light bulb in in America because illegal immigrants shouldn't be here. They're illegal. So it's bad. They shouldn't be here. It's, it's illegal. It's naughty in America. Lap 19, but yeah, shame on them. Yeah, excuse me for a sec. Hey, Mitch, where's that damn American beer? 
God damn, I'm thirsty. Come on, man. Uh, oh, what's this here? Oh, Y-22, he goes way off there. Sergeant kind of went off the line a little bit, too. They're going pretty wide. As you can see, they're trying to hold each other off, but the tires and stuff are starting to get a little more worn. Going down into the NASCAR way again. That's the way you do it. Turning on eight. Then they're going. They're going in America. They're turning America. They're turning. They're turning. Still in America. They're going. They're going. And now lap 20. This baby pricks has been going on for quite some time now. We're almost halfway through it. And not much has changed this entire baby pricks. Ooh. Sergeant locks up a little bit. Going around turn four now. Now the American turn five. They're still going pretty wide trying to block each other. And pass each other. Oh, what the heck? The sergeant slowed way down almost like a brake check with Y-22 or something. They might have made contact. I'm not sure. Going around turn seven. Well, Y-22 is already defending because it doesn't know what happened. Maybe yep, he just reported to his engineer over the radio that he missed a gear going up the hill there. That's what happened. Y-22 is going to be a little more careful because anything could happen. He's going to get that draft there. Tries to go on the inside, but the sergeant blocks him as he goes into the turn. Around turn four again. They're still going very wide on that turn five. The line's quite different than what it normally is because they're fighting for that position. What a battle we got here at Willow Springs in America. Ooh, look at Y22. He's really pushing. He's Ooh, ooh, that is very, very close. He really wants to get by them. He wants to not be in that there second anymore. But he's being very careful. He doesn't want to cause an accident and throw them both out. I mean, we only got two daggone race car drivers out there today. If one of them even goes out, we don't have a race anymore. We just got a guy testing a car around the track in America. Ooh, they're going slippery slip again. They're both doing it. This is intense, folks. This is a battle of the century. This is World War Five. Or seven. I don't know anything. In America, all I know is we win all the wars. Because we're the best. Going around that there turn again. Going around turn eight. Oh, Y-22, he's bitten. Let's ride on board again with him there. So Y-22 rider, he's got 22 points, and he's on lap 22, and he's going to the pits. Wait, wait, where, where's his engineers? Where's his pit crew? He's just looking around there. <laughs> and he's shaking his head because he didn't even get a pit stop. They're mandatory pit stops, so he at least got that done. He's just got to catch up to the sergeant now, but the sergeant still got to take this pit stop as well. Let's go back to the sergeant. Oh, he's already almost going to be on lap 24 here. Bam, boom goes the dynamite, lap 24. That's going to be about lap 22's best shot at Taking the lead is when Sergeant Pitts. This is definitely got a faster pace going by a few tenths of a second, it looks like. So Sergeant's gonna have his work cut out for him after he gets done with their their pit stop. That there Merka. Merka. And now's the best time for the sergeant to push. Cause he's gotta make up that time. 
Oh, yep, there goes Y22. That's the finish line. We're still about half a lap behind the sergeant. Sergeant's going around the squiggly squiggles, is what I like to call them there. She goes right and left and right, like you're marching in a marching army. America. Sergeant's still in the lead here. He's going around turn three. It's lap 25. Turn five. Now it's turn six because he already went past turn five. Ooh, he went slippity a little bit there. Can't tell if Y-22 lost time or gained time there. Might have gained some time, it looks like, there. Around that there, slippity slips. Oh, God dang. Just a second. Mitch! Come on! Beer! Now! In America! Yeah, sure, I bought that. I'm just as hell right now. Uh, Sergeant, this car looks a little unstable or a little stiff, maybe. He's going to slip it. I slip a lot. This is kind of looking scary for him. Maybe something's wrong with the car. Now, he did go off the track a little bit a couple times. It may have done something to the suspension, but not likely. That car just does not look as stable as it did. Or he's really trying to push to get extra time because he knows when he bets he's going to be in second. He's kind of missing the line a lot. Yeah, there's something wrong with the car there, you can tell. And Y22 Rider is slowly catching him. Yeah, he's catching them kind of like that there Pokemon Man show on the TV for the little tykes in not America. Wait, I think it is in America, but it, it's not American made like the big old stock cars, V8 engines and stuff. It takes the strongest, hairiest chested and biggest bald men to drive those big ass American classic stock cars. United States here in America. Lap 28, Sergeant Formula One's leading. But other than all that, their jazz, not much else is happening here. And, well, I'm starving. I gotta get myself a damn American sandwich. Why don't we just go to commercial? We'll be right back to this here Will Springs Scrub Chocolate Beef Pricks in America. for everyone.
going around the bend. We're riding on board here with Sergeant Morgan Moore. He's so far up in the lead here, but we're slaves. He's falling asleep. And now he's out of the way. Good thing the sergeant knows that big red chewing gum goes good with all them bad ouchy dirty boo boos. Oh no! He's out! Luckily for him, there's a spare pack sitting in every Sheriff Tizer energy drink car across America. Hi, I'm Bud Burger Butt, reminding you that if you don't chew big red, then f you in America. Rated H for Honest. From the company that loves to rehash the same franchises over and over comes a racing series that teaches players that winning and being the best driver don't always go hand in hand. Mario Kart. You've seen Mario jump, golf, serve, kick, party, practice medicine, and do pretty much anything but actual plumbing. But now, Mario's back on the streets in a go-kart. Welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom, where a land once known for its unreasonably high rate of princess kidnappings is inexplicably paved over into a series of convoluted racetracks. Battle your way to first place with an arsenal of items with varying degrees of utility like high explosives, slapstick comedy, decoy item boxes that have never fooled a single driver, PCP, bullshit. The hollowed out shells of once living, breathing Koopas. Big ass bullet. And the item that holds the all time record for most ruined friendships. The blue shell. A weapon so incredibly evil that it seeks out the lead driver and. Oh! Starring Bob Hoskins, Green Mario, Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, Fat Mario, Shrooms, A Snork. Business Kong, Ghost Rider, Reptar, Bow Wow, Lil Bow Wow, and Time Paradoxes, Mario Kart. And if you suck at racing, there's always Battle Mode. <laughs> Balloons. There's something special in the air. If blue skies and sunny days are what you're after, this winter American Airlines has the place for you. And along with our great sunny destinations, we have some very affordable flyaway vacation packages to get you there. We now return to your scrub droplet baby tree, only on Formula TV. Back again in America, folks. We're watching what happened on lap 32 to Y22. He had to pit again because of that. The sergeant, he pitted. He lost a lot of time because he had clutch issues. They almost told him it was going to be a showstopper there in America. But luckily, they were able to fix it, and the race is on. Y22 led for a while, but then he's not leading anymore in America. But also, while y'all were gone, I got my beer. Because that Mitchie, he, he apparently he didn't even work here. And I got my sandwich, and oh, what happened there?
We should take a look at that again. Here it comes. And, yeah, weird. Look at that. His wheels just completely stopped turning. There he's off again. He's still in the lead while 22 is back. He's still not in sight. Boy, lots of stuff happened weird at this here, baby pricks. Well, first of all, we only start up two drivers after two of them retired and then Wayne game disappeared. My God. I mean, what a weird baby pricks this was. Oh, excuse me for a sec. I gotta eat this sandwich here. Well, that's what I call damn good old-fashioned American sandwich. Holy crap in America. Um, in fact, you guys weren't enjoying any of this sandwich. Any of all y'all want some? You're too bad, you can't have it, it's mine. America. So chop off that delicious American sandwich that none of you people could have, because it's mine. I got this great American beer that I had to go get myself because Mitch couldn't do it. Uh, but, uh, I guess he, he didn't actually work here. He was just some dude with the name tag Mitch on his jacket. But, I got this here beer during that there commercial. Hey, I got this funny joke for y'all. Why was the chicken on the other side? <laughs> because she walked over there. <laughs> oh, America. <laughs> hey, did I ever tell you about that one American time when I was in America, that one American place, at that one American time in America? Well, stuff happened. See, there's this mime. Those mimes and their not ability to talk. It just freaks me out. He was in some sort of chamber. And damn, it was freaky as hell. We are on lap 36 here. The sergeant's in first place still. Y-22 is in second place here in this race. He's probably about 20 seconds behind the sergeant. Still at the back of the pack. Sergeant's going around that there turn six in America. Now the American turn seven again. Turning, he's turning again. Slippy is a little bit. He's turning. He's turning. Let. 37. The sergeant's still in the lead. It's coming around turn two there, going up the hill. Turning on turn three, going down the hill. Feeling all those G's again on his tummy. His line is a little more stable now after break. He's still pushing quite a bit though because he doesn't want Y-22 to catch him. The sergeant doesn't see Y-22 in his mirrors, but his engineers told him to not risk anything, to just keep going. He needs to make up extra time just in case if he has any more mishaps like that there that he had on lap 33 when he went off the track in America. We're on lap 38 now. This baby pricks has really gone on for a while now. The clock is ticking down for Y-22. He better make some time up fast. Ooh, the sergeant goes off the course there, little bit. He misjudged it. Going around turn five in America. It's turned a little bit in wide to get that nice smooth turn in there at six. Let's get this line nice and ready for turn seven. Look at that. That's pretty damn good. 
Looks like it's on rails. It's just driving beautifully there. Look at that. Now we're on lap 39. He's going up the hill. The running order is Sergeant first at Y22 is about probably 17 seconds behind the sergeant in second place there. The sergeant's going around down round turn five. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was a good one. Around American turn six. Down that there American turn seven. Oh, damn, America. It's coming around. Lap 40. We got seven more laps to go here, including this one. Turn three. Is going down. Still no sign of Y22. And remember, like I said earlier, even if Sergeant wins, he's only going to get two American points here. It's not really that much because there was only two stars. But it's, it's better than zero points, which is probably what everyone else is going to get except Y22. He's going to get one magical point. Still no sign of Y-22 as the sergeant goes around turns 10 and 11 to complete lap 40. Another American boot for all y'all up there in America. Sergeant's racing though. He's going up the hill turning 3 going down again because he got a uh, to do a lap on this course. There's that there turn five again. He's going up, up, and now he's a turning again. Close to slightly wide there. Still no sign of Y twenty two is in second. But he's, he's getting closer, that's for sure. Sergeant's going around the turn again, that there 10. There's that there 11, and then the finish line for lap 42. Now he's coming up the hill, he's turning there. He's coming down again. Turn four. Turn the five. Ah. So, oh, farted. Go around turn six. Down. Turn seven. Turn eight. Right on nine, he takes his wheels and it brings him right off the track. He lost some time. Still, Y-22 is not inside, so I don't think the Sarge has anything to worry about. He's just got to keep his steady pace up, and I think he's going to be the winner here. Coming up on lap 43, turn three. He hits the dirt a little bit. Yeah, there's not really much else to talk about here. You just pretty much just gotta watch this sheer camera follow the leader. Oh, yeah. I tell you, that sandwich made me gassy and very good. <laughs> oh, boss. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I gotta run to the bathroom, folks. I'll be right back.
more. Congratulations, we just gotta watch Y22 finish up this here, baby bricks. And that's it for today's Willow Springs Stroke Droplet Baby Bricks here in America. Congratulations to the Sergeant on his first win out of this series. I'm sure he's real proud. I'm sure the Kaiser Motorsport team is happy it's been dominant with that team the entire season. I'm Bud Bergerwood, and we'll see you next time. I hear it's going to be that very United Kingdom, not America. Bye. America. Wait, what?